The coronavirus is a terrible disease, taking over a lot of the country. A lot of people are getting sick, but there's another sickness that's taking over the country. Racism. It's just taking over. I um, sat down and I watched that Grant, um, George Floyd video, and it was disturbing, but I felt like it was necessary to watch so that that way we know exactly the magnitude of the situation. He was asking for help. Um, I think it was, it was Eric Gardner who was saying almost the same stuff. I can't breathe. Next thing you know, that. Typically when someone says they can't breathe, you think that, I don't know, someone would try to help them. And that's, that's, that's a human characteristic. That's when you realize, you watch that video, and your response is, Black Lives Matter. But this, this year has kind of caused a bit of a, um, a bit of a revolution, a revolution in mind, mindset and, and viewpoints, and it's changed a lot of the way that we're thinking about things. And hopefully these protests that are everywhere are going on. You know, it's, 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 a by, it's not a byproduct of anything other than humanity. And hopefully we can become better for it. Hopefully we can learn to finally overcome this and, and unify. How many years has it been? It's been a long time. A long, long time. It's unfortunate. We haven't just been able to just say, hey, let's, let's come together as people. Well, we've said it. We haven't been able to act upon it as a people. Many, many have tried. Maybe this is the point when we can finally listen to all the people who have said it before, and we can finally, finally get to that point. Maybe. Maybe this will be the point when we finally scrub everything and we get to ground zero. Maybe, maybe then. Hopefully. But aside from that, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're being healthy Hope you're being safe and remember to, we're in this together. We're all humans and let's do what we can. Take care.